you believe Lauren Manny today? You're just remarkable. Look at you. Gosh. I don't even know where to begin, Lauren. What a journey you have been on. How are you doing? Doing well and in enjoying as much as I can every single day. You know, so much has happened since I visited you at that rehabilitation oh. center. We have kept in touch a little on and off through the years. And, you know, when you think back and remember the doctors gave you an 18% chance of survival, what do you think when you hear that? <laughs> when I think about it, I first remember coming out of the coma and realizing I had been hurt, but miraculously thinking I'd be going home at the end of the week. I couldn't see any part of my body, and mentally I hadn't adjusted to the severity of the injury. And the 18% dwindled down into the single digits with infections and lung collapses and amputations, you name it. But at the end of it all, I felt just the grace and the good fortune to be able to fight for my life, and so I took it in ran with it. You that was did, it. and you're such a fighter, and, and, and I know your will to live came from your wonderful husband, Greg, who I had the privilege of meeting, as well as your little boy, Tyler, who was how old at the time, Lauren? Tyler was 10 and a half months old at that time. In the book, you talk about when you realized through the enormity of the tragedy that you'd been a part of, you said, finally, Greg told me that I was one of just a handful of people who had been seriously injured that day and survived. Hearing this news, I experienced a profound and desperate sorrow. I did, and at the same time, it filled me with the sense of the honor that I had to even fight for my life, and I truly believe that a part of each and every one of them is in me, and they lifted me in my darkest moments when I didn't think I could go on. You have since had another child, you and Greg, uh, I think, wanted to have a baby. It didn't happen, so what did you both do? We tried and suffered through a number of miscarriages, and we um, were counseled, perhaps you want to look toward a surrogate. And uh, after many years of trying, everything from wrong embryos to you name the problems, it could be uh, a short story with too many comedic errors, we finally welcomed our son, Jagger Thomas Manning, October 22nd, 2009. And in fact, he's here today. He and is I get here to today. Him, I'm very excited about <laughs> he is Jagger. Today. Is he shy? Oh, he's not shy. He doesn't want to come out. Hi, Jagger. Hi. Hi. He looks just Hi. like his dad. <laughs> Hi. How are you, sweetie? Nice to see you. See you. Hello. Oh, what a gift, right? Hi. How are you? Yep, that's you. What do you yeah. think? You're pretty cute, aren't you? That's Tyler. And that's your brother, yeah. Tyler. Look at him. He's got <laughs> grown up so much. How, how have you changed? How has this Mommy. whole thing changed you? The thing that impresses me the most that I've learned is to really appreciate the moments and to live in the moment of all the imperfection that is in my life and appreciate the happiness more. It's still not easy for me, but I'm getting there. I'm a slow learner. <laughs> well, Lauren, thank you so much.